we get a lot of questions on a turkey gun set up and so I thought I would take a little time to kind of talk about mine again this don't mean it's the only turkey gun setup it just happens to be my favorite turkey setup and as you see here this is a Remington 1187 I've had this gun a long time I actually won it in a turkey calling contest back in the uh, early 90s so it means a lot to me it's really sentimental you can see I've kind of kept up with the tallies right at around 90 turkeys that I've shot with this particular gun I uh, got it equipped with my old custom sling the leather sling I got a friend in Alabama who makes me those I mean literally like the old cotton picking fair stamps it out for you and put your name on it it's leather I've had this thing for quite a while this particular gun is 1187 Remington special purpose it's equipped with a 21 inch barrel and then I got it topped off here with an Indian Creek extended choke tube this is a 665 uh, I bought this choke tube. I actually have, over the years, bought several choke tubes, a lot of different ones. As a matter of fact, as you know, they can get kind of expensive. But if you can match it up to the right gun, the right shell, man, it's unbelievable. So I've had a lot of luck with this gun, with this Indian Creek tube, but I've also had a lot of luck with the jibs, uh, choke tubes, kicks has been really good in some guns. The rhinos, I had a couple guns that those rhinos really shot well out of, but you can uh, pretty much find the perfect combination. And uh, obviously here's the ammunition. I'm shooting just these Hornady three inch magnums. This is a uh, number five shot. I, I like the fives and six shots. And obviously there's a lot of rave about some of the new um, you know, shots that are out there now. I think it's TSS or T, this tungsten. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's really heavy. And a lot of people are ranting and raving about that. But for right now, it's just regular copper plated uh, you know, number fives I like out of that Hornady right here. Um, one of the reasons I like the shorter barrels like you see in this 1187, is a simple fact that it is short. A lot of people think that it takes a long barrel to pattern good. That's far from the truth. Um, there's a lot of duck guns that's got those 28, 30 inch barrels and they work really good and they work really good on turkey. However, if you're in the south or in a situation, even in Texas where you're set up in clumps, a lot of times you'll have smaller trees or even big trees right around you. So a lot of times if you've got a long barrel, it's out there extended so it's hard to move or swing on a turkey as he starts coming in and you can just swing more free with a 21 inch barrel or a 22 inch barrel versus if it's a long barrel, you literally have to, when the turkeys come around, you have to bring your gun and move it around the trees or the shrubbery or whatever it might be. So I like the shorter barrel um, or shortest barrel as possible if I can. Notice I got a Tacticam rigged up on this gun. This is not the standard mounting mechanism these Tacticams come with. Um, I found just a simple old zip tie works really good. It comes with a really cool bracket that you can attach right to your barrel but I like it a little closer to my receiver because when I'm sitting here usually my gun my, my left hand is right here and I can just reach over and hit record when that turkey starts coming in or maybe just before so rather having to reach out here so i like that just standard black zip ties and zip them tight and man it holds really tight um that's pretty much the main setup here for this gun uh like i said i like the auto loaders because i got multiple times to shoot if i miss or there's multiple turkeys i can keep firing away i got nine inches of high brass to sling at them now this is the new wave of Remington shotguns right here. This is the Remington Versamax. First of all, you notice it's dipped in a brand new Realtree Edge camo. Man, it is pretty as a speckled puppy on a red fire engine. A gorgeous gun. This particular gun shoots two and three quarter, three inch or three and a half inch shells. It comes equipped with a 28 inch barrel. However, this is a 22 or 23, I think, inch barrel. I think it's actually 22. It comes with a, a factory extended choke tube from Remington. So this gun shoots really tight. This specifically is set up just for turkey. Got a nice thick recoil pad on it. And this gun is made for just to pound with. If you're a duck hunter who's gonna shoot a lot of rounds, if you're a dove hunter who's gonna shoot thousands of rounds, this Versamax is built to withstand that. And obviously if you're a goose hunter or a turkey hunter that you like the three and a half inch shell, you've got that capability. So this is the new gun. This has redefined the limits of auto loading right here with Remington. I've loved the Remington brand from their rifles to the shotguns. And uh, I, I just really enjoy hunting turkeys with them. And so old Grady, the trusty old school 1187 and the brand new Versamax by Remington. These are the two turkey guns I bring through the woods any and every time I go turkey hunting.